Hey, farming peeps, how we doing? Toster 12 here. Hey, we have the mods. And one of these I've been waiting on. That little truck right there. Not exactly what I was wanting, but I'm not going to complain. We got it. And it's amazing. For the most part. We got it. That's, that's what I'm saying. We got it. I mean, you'd think with a little bit of ingenuity... They could fix that. That nice looking of truck. And it sounds like that. Seriously? Come on. Oh my gosh. It's got warning lights. That's awesome. If I was a wide load escort, I'm not a wide load escort. I'd rather have a better horn than I had caution lights. That's just my way of thinking. Still yet, we... Well, hello. Hmm. Worker is actually doing his job. Uh, we still got it. I mean, I'm not going to complain that much. We have it. So, I guess it is what it is and I'll have to live with it. So, that's it. But we do have it. And look at that. It looks good. I mean, it really, really looks good. I'm ecstatic about this. I do wish the horn was better, but if that's the only complaint I've got, no biggie. And I actually like that bull bar. That thing is amazing. It's not actually a bull bar, but it's close. I do like it, though. I do, I do like it. It is awesome. Oh, well, look. Isn't that neater than the Scooter's Peter? There's your headlights, and there's your fog lights. Oh, huh. jiggers. Look at that. Doesn't really sound like a diesel, but... Hmm. Oh, well. It's still a truck. No matter, it's still a truck. That's, we got it. And it came with the trailer, the triple axle trailer, which I know this is probably a little overloaded for that truck, but in game it pulled it, so no big deal. This is another thing I wanted to show you. We got this in. This bad boy right here, the John Deere 959 MH Harvester. Yeah. Now, this thing is cool. As I was loading it on the trailer, I was up like this, but I noticed it didn't move. And you know why it didn't move? Because of this right here. Look at that. The tracks and everything articulate and move. So the cab doesn't have to. Now isn't that neat? I just thought that was the neatest thing. Theater and Skeeter's Peter. Kind of what I thought. That's just cool. Look at that. I mean, it does all kinds of cool stuff. However, the other one doesn't. But this one does. I mean, I'm sure it can be a little bit too much for it. But still yet. The inside of the cab is kind of cool. It doesn't look like the windows are tinted looking out. But looking in, oh, and we got the camera here, the crane camera, oh gosh. But looking at it, the windows are tinted. I think that's cool. There's your work lights. I think it's pretty cool. I'm ecstatic about these things. I still want to use that. And another thing I wanted to show you on this, I just found out. Let me back this thing off here. I think this is awesome. Because it is... The trees, you know, when you get that stubborn tree and you, if you know how to operate this, you turn it on, you get that stubborn tree and you, you're rotating, you're trying to get it and it falls down. So you have to kind of cut it up with a chainsaw. Not anymore. 
Because look at that. There you go. And you just reach down. And you grab your tree. Not like that. Just, you know, you grab your tree about like that. And you pick it up. And you cut it. Now, I've not tested that. But I'm pretty sure it's probably going to work. In theory, it would work. And it should, by all means. But you're supposed to keep back at least 300 feet for safety reasons. That's what it says right there on my arm, anyway. They know I'm driving this, don't they? Huh. <laughs> Good word of caution. Anyway, we also have, boom, this little doodad. You yeah, booty. And it still says keep back 300 feet. Imagine that. <clears throat> Both of these are uh, from North Modding Company. This is the John Deere 953 MH Swing. <laughs> Swing. This little bad boy. I can't wait to use this either. Because this is going to be awesome loading, I think. Once I get used to it. Because this is going to be a little different. Getting used to. I think. And I don't know all the controls. But. And I'm a. Come on. Oh. Oh crap. Well, how do I do that now? I guess like that. I guess just like that. Okay. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit of getting used to with this. But nonetheless, it's going to be awesome. I think. Maybe. And inside, same way. I just think they're going to be cool. And over here, we have the farm tech. Yeah, we have more tippers. I know. Farm tech EDK 800. They connect. And if you'll notice, they do have the side tip, the grain door tip, the left, left or right, which is side, the sides, duh, the grain door and the, the back tipper so you can tip just about any direction you want and you can put them in tandem or triples and there you have it Ooh, they even hoses even good attention to detail that's awesome i think that's awesome and i would like to say kudos to all the modders i mean y'all keep us interested y'all make this game more fun than what it already is so kudos to every modder out there regardless of what i say Kudos to y'all, because, I don't know, y'all make the game. Y'all really do. Uh, we have the Amazon AD302. And I want to put a caveat on this. Just a warning. It hooks up, but it will not raise and lower. It shows on screen that it does. Yeah, y'all know y'all go back to normal when I disconnect the tractor. Took me forever to figure that out. About three weeks ago when I was fighting with a, a mod setup. Mm -hmm. I had several squirrels that day. That was one of those days. It was just like squirrels were rampant. I mean, they were stupidly rampant. I was like, oh, he's full. That's why he stopped. Huh. Oh, jiggers. You would think that the AI could figure out that they're full and they would bring the truck around to unload it. I don't guess artificial, well, I don't guess actual idiots is all they're cracked up to be. And here, now it shows it's, it shows it's actually raised right now. It's lowered. It's raised. It's lowered. If you look at the top left-hand corner, 
it's lowered. And now it's raised. And now it's lowered. And now it's raised. So, I don't know. However, and I tried it also with a, uh, oh, crap, case. So when I brought it over here, same thing. It says the Amazon AD302 sewing machine and power Haro can be attached. Both need to be bought separately. Connecting hoses, so that may be my problem. Hmm. I'm going to have to tinker with this thing. Going to have to tinker with it. Since sewing machine and power hover can be a detached. Oh, can be detached. Oh, wow, look at that. But both need to be bought separately. Oh, okay. That still could be my problem. Anyway. Houston, we have a problem. That said, Amazon AD302. AD302. And it said power horrors. And it says it's in the horror category. That is not where I got that at. As you can see, it is not here. As online says, Make sure I read that correctly. Category, power, horrors. Don't see it. Okay, that's disc. Yeah, I didn't think so. The place I went and got it at, if I can find it again, it was right here in Cedars. I went to Cedars, and there it is. A cedar planter. You can sew fields. Additionally, this machine offers the possibility to seed directly to and no previous cultivating or plowing necessary. It's exactly where I got that at. And that is the Amazon AD302. It is not in the power harrows. It's in the cedars. So, they got an ubu. And I think they got an ubu as far as it raising and lowering, too. So, I don't know. See? All, everything else kind of works on it. It turns on. I don't know. I haven't tested it. I hadn't tried it, but it looks like I may have to. Just to see what it can do and what it can't do. So that's kind of weird. But that author is Dace Alex, D-A-S-A-L-E-X. It is 8.96 megabytes. It's available for all platforms. As you've seen, there is no customization to it. Let's see. 17,430 with no customization. Three meters in uh, width. And it's a 45 horsepower tractor. Holds 780 liters. So we have that done. Catch the rest of them here. The uh, both John Deere's, the 953MH Swing and the 959MH Harvester, both are from uh, North Modding Company. The Harvester is 12.01 megabytes, and it's available for all platforms. And the Swing is 12.1 megabytes, and it's available for all platforms. Both are located under vehicles and in forestry. 
So naturally, you scroll over past those John Deere's to these two here. The tract harvester is 600,000. The swing is 370. Boom. No customization and no customization. So there you have those. Now, the FarmTech EVK 800. And of course, it's under tools and trailers. And you go through all of these trailers that we already have. <laughs> and there it is, the EDK 800. Now, I have a snot load more I can go through, but I won't. It is 9,000 liters. There we go. And it hauls virtually everything you have right there. $9,000. Uh, you can customize the wheel brand as to Lizard, Trelleborg, and Michelin. And that's it. And you go from Trelleborg, $1,300 increase to Michelin to $2,200 increase. So you're looking at from 9000 base price to 11200 top range. So that's what you have there. And they are tandem connectable. You did see that. So that is a plus on that side of it. I do have to agree. Next, but not least, boom, the truck. It's the pickup 2014 XL Lizard 55,000. It goes 68 miles an hour, 340 horsepower. And it's customizable in color. Boom. Here's our colors. All the general colors. You can also customize the wheel color. Boom. And the fifth wheel hitch is optional. I'll get it right in a minute. So is the bull bar. You can hit the fifth wheel in or out. Either way. Doesn't cost any extra. The bull bar, however, is $1,000 extra. If you want it. With or without. And then the wheel setup. Standard or tuning. And the tuning is $500 extra. And there's your stand, there, there's the standard, and there's the tuning. Of course, the tuning looks a lot better, I think. So there is our truck. The trailer that goes with it is under tools and low boys, or low loaders. Boom, right there, the fifth T450 at $12,000 at $10 a day. It's a fifth wheel hitch, and it's customizable in color. Triple axle, and that's about it. That is our mods for today. I am happy with this. We don't have any tie downs for it. That does suck. The horn sucks on the, the truck. The cedar power, wherever it belongs, doesn't raise or lower. Ooh, that hit the fence. But we got the mods. That's the main thing. We got them. They may not work. They may have the little corks about them. But we got them, and they can be fixed. The, <laughs> the harvester is 24 slots, which is not bad. I didn't think about that. I figured it'd be more. 24 slots for each of those. So that's not too bad, actually. You think about it. The truck is 10 slots, not too bad, at 300 horsepower truck, the one ton. Now, I've got two of these, so let's return one of them. Boom, right there. The trailer is four slots, not too bad, but it's still a trailer. We've got 100 of those, or not 100, but we got quite a bit of those trailers of this nature, so still not bad at four slots, though. 
the Cedar Harler mis mistaken misplaced machine is seven slots. Nah, it's it's okay. The trailer for the truck is four slots. I actually kind of like that. That's cool. I mean, it's it's comparable to most other I guess, trailers and everything. So that's not too bad. That's a winner. So there you have the mods. Hope you liked it. A thumbs up would be great. Share, share away. Let me know what you liked. What, which one was your favorite? You know, what can be uh, fixed? What can be added up on? What, we, what can, or what could be done, not we, but what could be done to improve these? What do you think? I'd like to hear it. Tell me in the comments down below. And until next time, we'll catch you later.